Schema chart is supported and by default runs under Microsoft Windows. But for power users and developers, what if we want to start using it under Linux and especially build a development environment so we can completely switch over to our favorite operating system? The process is mostly straightforward and if we do not want any fancy stuff, simple studies and strategies will run just fine. Let's begin setting up our environment and by the end of this video we will be able to develop and debug freely using only Linux. I will use the latest Ubuntu LTS version. I have already a working installation of Sierra Chart that runs under Wine. If you have problems setting up Sierra Chart on Linux, you can watch my other videos for instructions. You can find the links in the description of this video. For a code editor, we are going to configure and use VS Codium, which is Visual Studio Code with telemetry completely disabled. We have just installed VS Codium. The next step is to install a compiler and a debugger. For that, we are going to use the tools from the Mini GW project, which is the minimalist development environment for native Microsoft Windows applications. So let's switch back to the console and let's install the necessary packages. The next utility that we need to download and install is the 64-bit version of the GDP server executable for Windows. After the download is finished, we just extract the files inside the wine bottle we use for Sierra Chart. The final step is to open up VS Codium and install the necessary extension for C++ development support. The next step is to open the Sierra Chart folder that contains the source code for the studies and strategies. For the sake of this video, I have created a very simple study that I have here, 
that the only thing that it does is to change the color of its candlestick. We see that VS Codium pop up a message about missing headers. So first we need to fix this. We are going to create a new configuration. Let's call it Sierra Chart. And here we can define our extra headers. And now we see that the previous error about the header is missing is now gone. Let's move further into the configuration of VS Codium and let's configure a couple of tasks. I have created a simple bash script that we are going to use in order to set up our tasks in VS Codium for building the TLL. This is a script that we are going to use. There are three variables that we need to change. First, the UDP port that Sierra Chart is listening. Second, the name of the Sierra Chart directory. And third, the full path of the wine bottle that is used for Sierra Chart. Let's save and switch back to VS Codium. Let's delete the default task. Just pasted a few lines that helped us in order to create two new tasks one called SC Build and the other SC Debug Build. The first is used in order to build the DLL for use in our production environment. And the second one is used in order to build the TLL for debugging purposes. First, let's start Sierra Chart. And let's also configure the UDP port on Sierra Chart. We have to go to the Global Settings menu, Data and Trade Service Settings. We click on the SC Server Settings button. And in this field, we can define the UDP port. And now, let's try and build our DLL. We are going to build a debug version of this DLL now. Now let's try and see if our study is actually available to Sierra Chart. Here we see it listed in the custom studies. 
let's select it and add it into the current chart. We now see that the colors of the candle bars are actually changing. Now let's try and change the colors on our study. Save and rebuild. The color started to change without us having to remove the study from the chart and add it again. Also, if you check the message log, you will see that this specific DLL was unloaded and loaded again. After performing tests with different solutions, the most solid one I could came up with was to use the GDP server Windows Executable to attach from inside Wine into the running process of ShareHR, while also make it listen for remote connections. This way, then we can use VS Codium to remotely connect into the GDP server by using the GDP version that ships with mini GW. So let's go to VS Codium and configure our debugging. And now let's add a new configuration. Make note of the debugger server address that we defined here, the debugger path, and the program which needs to be the Sierra chart executable inside our wine bottle. Let's save. And now, while keeping Sierra chart open, Resuming the replay. And let's start a simple command prompt. Let's switch to the C drive. First, we need to find the PIP number of Sierra chart. We can run TaskMGR in order to find out. As we see, the number here, the PIP number, is 88. So now we are ready to start the GDP server. Now GDP server has started, it's attached to share chat process and it's listening for remote connections. Now let's try and start debugging. As you can see, VS Codium connected to the remote target 
loaded the symbols. Now let's try to add the breakpoint and see what's going to happen. Let's continue. You see that's here at start. It's still working fine. Okay. We can see here the variables. If we mouse over, it works. We can try and step over. We can also add a watch. And this is how you can debug any study or strategy of CRHR using Linux. Using Linux for the development of CRHR studies and strategies, as you could see, it's quite possible. This video, of course, was scratching just the surface of what can be done. I hope it serves as an entry point for raising interest into developing for CRHR under Linux.